Sometimes I'll have my students drop their stirrups and ride around. We may even do patterns um, without stirrups at all, but it gets the uh, consciousness about where your feet are and what you're doing with your legs and where your balance point is. If you start relying on having those stirrups under your feet all the time and actually pressing on your stirrups too much, it takes away from your effectiveness as a rider using your seat. So I constantly stress getting on your seat feeling that horse underneath you so you're sitting on your saddle properly and when you drop your stirrups you don't have that ability to press against the stirrups right so you've got to let your legs hang naturally and the minute i let go of my stirrups this horse immediately starts traveling differently right before i had my legs up where he was comfortable me holding on to his rib cage a little bit with the calves of my legs but the piece that we're working on here is for you to stay centered and not to get leaning one way or the other, forward, backwards, or laterally, side to side. The main thing is keeping your toes turned out where you're not squeezing the horse, but yet you've got that ability to almost wrap your legs around the horse's barrel to maintain your balance front to back. Laterally, if I'm feel like I'm falling to the inside I can stick my leg out away from the horse which helps compensate and bring my upper body back to center. I'll have my students travel on a straight line and increase forward motion just by increasing the energy on their feet and then taking their feet completely away okay and see how that horse stopped and actually started to back up. That's a good response and that tells you how little you need to do with your feet uh, and your legs when they're in the stirrups. There again, less means more. If you take your feet out of the stirrups and you want a side pass, you just barely press against that horse's side with the calf of your leg right where you're not pushing down on that stirrup it just creates a more effective signal clear to the horse it becomes a consistent and effective way to move, maneuver your horse